Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotments. And you join me today as you can see on what's an absolutely lovely afternoon. Uh, you know, bright blue sky, sunshine, but quite chilly actually, easily the coldest day that I've been up here and recording these videos uh, so far. But uh, you know, ultimately gorgeous. Um, so of course I am here to talk about different uh, whiskies. What is today's allotment dram I hear you ask? Well it's pretty exciting, that's, that's what it is. Um, it's the Ballantine's seven years old bourbon finish. And this is a new addition to the Ballantine's uh, blended whiskey range and uh, of course a massive brand you know very well known in, in around the world um, and its history really stems back to the 1820s when George Ballantyne was uh, blending his own whiskies to sell to customers out of his grocery shop in Edinburgh and you know this is similar to you know a lot of these big uh, blended whiskey companies um, that we know now, a lot of them kind of were born out of grocery shops. So, you know, you've got uh, John Walker, Arthur Bell, the Shivers Brothers, for example, all coming out of uh, different grocery shops uh, dotted around Scotland. And they were blending like tea, coffee, spices, you know, from around the British Empire that were being bought into Scotland. But uh, of course, also whiskies from distilleries that were from their surrounding areas. So you know, now, of course, Ballantines is an absolutely massive brand. You know, 70 million uh, bottles sold a year, which you know you think of that. That's over a million bottles a week. You know, it's just staggering to try and get your head around that as a figure. But the inspiration for this um, was. Uh, really dates back to the 1870s so almost 150 years ago where and um, there's the first recorded instance of ballantines um, bringing in uh, strategically bringing in bourbon casks from kentucky and maturing their whiskies in there so this is what it inspired uh, sandy hislop who you know is a good friend of ours and uh, the master blender of uh, the ballantines range uh, so what he's done uh, with this uh, is uh, and thanks to Sandy for sending us the the bottle by the way uh, it's much appreciated um, but what he's done here is he created a, a seven-year-old blend in the Ballantine style and he then transferred that blend into bourbon casks for this short finishing period so it's really kind of juicing it up with these classic bourbon cask flavors uh, so you know it's nice to see you know, bourbon is, you know, a bit of a workhorse of the whiskey industry. It's, it's the, the most popular type of cask that Scotch whiskey is maturing, and you know, probably 90% of all Scotch whiskey maturing, uh, right at this moment, is in a bourbon cask. But it's, it's a bit of a sort of unsung hero. So it's nice to see somebody celebrating it in this way. And as I say, this is a permanent addition to uh, the range. Uh, it's 40%. And it's only going to cost you about 27, 28 pounds a bottle. So, you know, sounds pretty good value to me. So without further ado, I think we need to have a taste of this. So we literally got the bottle uh, from Sandy yesterday. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's, um, let's crack it open. Here we are. So let's just grab a glass. And here we go. Let's pour. Just pop that down there for a second. We always pop the lid back on. We never want any uh, accidents, you know. But let's look at the colour. Here we are. So, yeah, just uh, very vibrant. This is the first time, you know, not tasted it, not smelled it, not seen it even uh, until I just opened the bottle there. So, um, yeah, very sort of vibrant yellow color there. Let's have a smell. Wow, we're just getting lots of... It's like a red apple, you know, really crisp red apple there. 
And then we've got some honey and toffee. Just some vanilla as well. And then there's this, this sort of pinch of cinnamon or, or something, something like that. Let's, let's have a taste. Mmm. It's really creamy, really soft. Such a gentle whiskey, so easy going. But it's just got this lovely sort of, as I say, creamy, it's like vanilla. There's a bit of like coconut cream or something like that in there as well. But just sort of a lot of honey, toffee, butterscotch, something like that. Um, let's have another taste. Mm. Yeah, and just then all of that honey and toffee and butterscotch, it's all sort of wrapped around uh, this sort of crisp red apple. There's also some slightly more cooked fruit in it, maybe like a caramelized pear or something like that in there as well. Really lovely. And then just underneath that, there's this... Um, Again, this pinch of cinnamon, quite warming actually. There's a pinch of cinnamon or powdered ginger, a bit of allspice and possibly, possibly even a bit of like star anise or something like that, just, just in the background. But, you know, lots of this sort of vanilla and coconut and honey and toffee. Absolutely delicious. There's potentially, I'm just gonna have one more taste. I just wonder if there's just like a whiff of hint of really soft peat smoke in there as well. Just right in the very background. You certainly wouldn't say it was peaty or smoky, but it's just something savoury in the background there that's just accentuating, you know, some of these, these other flavours. It's just absolutely delicious. So, yeah, very, very nice job. And um, thank you, Sandy, for, for sending us that, you know absolutely delicious um, as I say for what, 27 or 28 pounds you'll, you'll find it. it it seems like a really good really good bargain for that and, and as we say great to see bourbon cast being celebrated so that's really about it uh, from me from myself and the Ballantine seven year old bourbon finish we shall bid you farewell Going to do a little bit more work um, before we head home, before it gets dark. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers now.